Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC25 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It is episode number 32 already, which means we've been uploading this for about a month, maybe just over. That is absolutely insane to think uh, how fast time flies. Uh, if you enjoyed today, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, keep smashing them thumbs up. I just want to say a massive thanks. The first month of FC25 has been a lot of fun here uh, on the channel, on the road to glory. So a big thanks to all of you out there. Um, subscribe as well if you're not, you know, if you're not already. And uh, oh, don't forget all my social links are down below. Um, this team right here will slightly change today because I figured I'm probably going to go liquid for a little bit. I'm going to go, uh, going to gonna grab my coins because I feel like the, there's going to be a bit of a market drop. It's just something I'm feeling in me bones. I, I, I don't actually know. I'm terrible with the market side of things. But I normally like a Wednesday night into a Thursday morning is, is quite low for the market, right? So, uh... Might be might be wise to offload. Now, in terms of the content that I've got for you in today's episode, there is literally all sorts. Now, uh, I played quite a lot of like Rush uh, in the background. Uh, I know it's not the most fun thing to watch, especially if I'm not live streaming or whatever, uh, and I'm just playing and playing with my mates or whatever. So um, I've probably cut out the gameplay for that, but you'll see the odd little player pick here and there as I'm getting objectives done. Uh, and as you can see, more importantly here, both Phil Foden and Mo Salah have been listed up. They are the only two tradable players I've got in my club right now. Uh, but I figured we could probably just about get away with using a couple of untradables that we've got. Like, I've got this Evo Darwin. He can come back into the squad. Power Shot Plus is something that is definitely great. And then, obviously, we've just done the Iwobi SBC. Uh, I've got a Marcus Rashford chilling in the club as well. So, um it's not like we are without players to use. And I, I feel like as fun as that 4-3-3 number four was, um, I, I just wonder if I'm better going with someone like, you know, the 4-4-2, the like kind of a little bit like Stokes tactics pretty much is what I'm using. So if you're looking for the best 4-4-2, I'm pretty sure Stokes 4-4-2 is, is still absolutely killing it out there. So uh, uh, I also put a new code in for a 4-5-1 that a bunch of my mates have been using. I think... I think this might even be foot with Stokes as well. If so, then I am just the biggest fanboy. The guy, the guy's good at FC twenty five. So I'm, I'm going to use the, the tactics. Uh, whether or not I ever actually switch to that one, I don't know. I just figured it would give me another option if I wanted to bulk out that midfield. And Iwobi can actually play centre mid, can't he? So that's kind of cool. Um, I went in to career mode <laughs> that's why i went into career mode to get the weekly challenges done there um ipswich may have beaten liverpool and man city in the first couple of games of the season so that's completely realistic i must be on a very uh super high difficulty there uh no <laughs> what i'd done was basically got myself over 2000 sp which is awesome uh salah sold the next morning by the way uh for 235k i've seen him tonight just before i was recording this video at like 215 I wouldn't be surprised if the market keeps doing what it's doing because of the Icon SBC. Wouldn't be surprised if he dips under 200, which uh, means that we may have actually sold a player at the right time. Crazy. Uh, anyway, from myself playing career mode to get the SP to go up a couple of levels in the season pass, I got a couple of nice packs. And uh, from one of those packs, I get a walkout and I get myself a little Rolfo, as well as Openda, which he's not like a super expensive player anymore, but he's definitely like still above discard price for an 85 which is quite nice and then from the 84 times four it's a walkout again and i'll tell you what that female stature there that to me i was like wendy straight away i knew that was going to be wendy renard um there's not many female players out there that are like that tall and have that sort of stature so uh yeah Big up Wendy Renard, uh, 91 defending on her card, and Anticipate Plus, but just 48 pace. If only she could have gone into that um, that Evo to, to get like plus 20 certain pace, that, that would have probably made her actually super usable. Um, but maybe later on in the year, you know. So now I'm going to do five 78 plus doubles, because I never learn from my mistakes, I just repeat them i just make them again and again and again all right so here we go with a 78 times two i've got five of these again um i didn't really have anything in duplicate storage so i was pretty much just using 
rares and non-rares from my actual club. Um, but I do have a fairly well-stacked club uh, of, of players of all ratings, actually. Uh, we're, we're doing quite well. In fact, one of my one of my mates, the, uh, the Footwiz Wadmin, who has definitely spent FC points, I'm pretty sure, on his account, has like crazy, crazy team, was saying that my account has a higher club value than his. And that's probably because of the bronzes, silvers, and the amount of golds that I've got in my club right now, uh, which is, yeah, that's, that's quite good. We're in a healthy state here on FC25. Now, I would have absolutely loved to have brought you the icon pack in today's video, uh, but I simply don't quite have the fodder yet. What I'm hoping is that when I show you the rivals rewards in tomorrow's episode, uh, that we will get some really good fodder from our division three, 45 points, sweated out the 15 wins or whatever. I'm hoping that from that, we get loads of great fodder so that we can complete the icon SBC and then We'll also have the Icon SBC, get that done, get that opened, get a sick player like Fernando Torres. So we've got a finesse shot player up front. That'd be awesome. Uh, and from that, have a great team for the weekend league. Sounds good to me. Watch me pack Rijkaard again as a duplicate untradeable. Just watch that happen. Oh, I can see it now. I genuinely can see it now. One Icon in my club and I pack him again. Yep, uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Someone clipped that in a couple of days when I eventually get Rykar duplicate. Uh, so I played with the greatest rush team of randoms ever. We won 18 nil. I'd done the uh, that latest Evo on Jack Clark, by the way. I think I mentioned that in yesterday's episode. But um, a lot of people have been choosing centre backs to increase the passing and dribbling. I just wanted to get one of my cool, fun new wingers uh, up to a decent level of dribbling and passing. That way, if another Evo comes out that Clark can fit into, he's going to actually end up. Uh, looking even better for it. So I think big brain there for the Ipswich Evo stuff. Although I would have, it would have been nice to get Jacob Greaves or Luke Wolfenden up to some seriously good dribbling and passing. Man, they need to start re releasing these Evos so that we can do them twice on, you know, do the same Evo on a couple of players. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Anyway, my little 442 first owner squad, which is looking tidy, is heading on into Foot Champs playoffs, all right? Um, I figured I'm going to get into Foot Champs playoffs because if and when I eventually fail, last week we struggled, right? We went three and two and it took me up until the last game to get that final win, to actually qualify. If and when we struggle, uh, I will get some points from Rivals Rewards or I I'm going to have to play loads of Rivals again starting from today as you're watching this as it's a new week. So that will help me then get the points to then try and re-qualify if we fail this. Uh, anyway, I got a 2-0 Rage Quit in, in the very first game. Lovely stuff. Uh, and then we go in into game number two. And as you can imagine, I come up against the five at the back. Uh, I have seen a few screenshots from when the... Um, the, the title update went live on old gen and apparently it's going live soon on next gen. It might even be there by the time you're watching this. I'm not sure. Um, but it does look like five at the backs have been nerfed in a way that the wide players, the left wing back, the right wing back are like so far out from where the center backs are. So you will have at least some space to work with. Um, I hope that does solve that and makes me come up against a lot less five at the backs. That'd be nice. Anyway, this guy had clearly been beaten by a bunch of five at the back formations and had gone and grabbed a code for someone's tactic somewhere. He wasn't the greatest. Uh, I'll be I'll be honest. This was not the greatest opponent. I was 2-0 up pretty easily. Um, he did manage to get back in the game. And that's probably on me from just... I was a little bit... Once I was 2-0 up, I got, a bit, I got a bit overconfident. Really shouldn't do that, especially at 2-0. That's one of them awful score lines where your opponent can definitely come back into the game from. Um, but after that, I decided, right, okay, sit up. It's like that meme when you were laid back and then and then someone goes 1-0 up against you and you sit forward. Uh, sit up, sit forward, and, and get concentrating, all right? I go 3-2 up to restore the lead, and then we can restore our two-goal lead, actually, by Marlon just knocking it across. And then Darwin somehow getting to that. Not quite sure how, but we end up winning 4-2, uh, so GG, but uh, yeah, I was happy to win there against the Ratty formation. So 2-0, it looks like with three games remaining and one win needed, I should qualify, right? <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> but anyway, 
We go into this next one. A pretty sort of standard, but not a bad squad, if I'm honest. And straight from kickoff, watch what happens here, by the way. Um, it wasn't like a pre-planned thing. It just sort of, that's how the play worked out. Uh, we end up getting quite lucky to get the ball there. And Palmer knocks it to, uh, to Darwin Nunez, who I just first time power shot it, and it flies into the back of the net. So one nil up off of kickoff, and I was that was just um, unreal. Uh, we miss, well, we get a free kick save from Cole Palmer. Of course, he's got that super, he's got that super long line, hasn't he? Because of the dead ball plus. Um, and then <laughs> I tried the I tried the Demarco special with the Traveller, uh, which this is obviously pre patch. Uh, it didn't quite work out, but it fell to Darwin Nunes, and he was able to to red time the shot into the back of the net. So he's back in the squad, and he's absolutely firing. By the way, I then brought on Marcus Turam at half time. Uh, he made it three 0 and made my opponent quit. So just like that, I'm into the weekend league. That was another super easy week. So, so far, right, it's been the very first week I went 3-0, and gave the other games away. Last week, we struggled to get in, only went 3-2 and right in the very last game, but then got 10 wins in champs. And then this week, we've gone 3-0 and and given the other two wins away. So with that... I'm guessing I'm not going to get quite such a good weekend league. I'm going to get like a weekend league set of rewards like I got in the first week, which was like seven or eight. Um, I can see it happening now. I don't think I'll be able to get 10 again. That would be that would be like excellent. And if I'm going to stay liquid in terms of coins, I have no finesse shot players. They probably will have patched the Traveller by then. I'm not going to have any like meta rat tactics for, me to, for myself to use to help me get wins against the, the opponents that are on my level or just a little bit better than me. Um, so with my first owner team, we might struggle in the weekend league. But will we have fun doing it? Probably not. No, no, we'll try. We'll try and have fun <laughs> whilst doing it. So we are opening up the rewards that we get for getting three wins. Um, it was just quicker and easier for me to just give the wins away and, and move on. You know, it also lets a couple of people into into the weekend league, which we like to see. Um, and I don't get anything from the three win rewards. I guess the only other reason to play on is if you do get a decent reward for four or five wins. I actually don't know if you do or don't. So I'll have a look at them for next week. Um, the latest Total Rush Challenge came out last night and it is a 50k pack available for completing it and it's not that difficult uh i used spanish players from various different leagues and got a bunch of rares in there and stuff and uh it was super easy to complete i don't get a walkout from mine though that's a shame uh, and i know this card this is an 83 rated uh french woman goalkeeper now <sighs> 83 and a 50k pack it's not what you want to see. I want to see the 50k packs like I get. You know them ones I got from like the moment stars? The ones where I get like triple or four walkouts? That's what I wanted to see. Not not this rubbish. So uh, it didn't quite happen for me. Uh, but no big deal. Now I'm also going to complete the Angel Gomez SBC. This looks like a worldie of an SBC. Another must do. I can't keep title in my episodes that. I know I think uh, Iwobi's a must do. But... How can you not do this SBC? It's a it's a very nice card that could potentially be useful in the future for you, even if you don't use him now. And it's an 81 and an 82 rated squad with one in form. So this isn't even going to get in your way of doing that icon SBC because it's so low rated in comparison. It's just worth doing. It's like a 15 to 20,000 coin SBC. Uh, and let's just take a little look at him walking out and see those stats. I mean, look at that. It's an 85 rated card um, that just genuinely has some very nice stats. An Englishman in League Gun. Maybe that could be useful for like a hybrid later on down the line as well. Um, does he make his way onto the bench, perhaps? Maybe over Tonali, you know. I might put him on the bench over Tonali because he's quick. He's got great dribbling. And then just solid stats all the way around. I'm not a fan of the celebration, but um, it's a little bit much, <laughs> especially for, you know, this time of day when you're watching this at lunchtime. Um, but, yeah, I mean, lots of green, only literally one orange stat there, and I think it was his heading accuracy. Other than that, you've got yourself a, a great little player for about 20k. Um, unfortunately, I have Yaya and De Jong, so he's not getting in the starting 11. But it's such a very good value SBC. I think everyone should probably get that done. Um, just with stuff in your SBC storage, more, more than anything. Uh, so, no excuses. Get Angel Gomez done. I think it's worth it. Uh, not much from the rewards from him, though. And... 
I am going to work on getting Muriel and Gomez into my into my team, like on the bench. Uh, I think Cole Palmer might come off the starting eleven. Rashford in. I think I should be using my Rashford card. I think he's good enough. I think he is good enough. And actually, I can chop and change the way this team actually lines up. Uh, I could go with double power shot plus up front with Rashford and Nunes. And then play Iwobi on the left. And Marlon on the right of the 4-4-2. The Rashford, Iwobi and Marlon are all really like... They've got many alt positions. So that's awesome. It means that I can chop and change and see what I prefer at the time and stuff. Um, if we're going to play the 4-4-2, I could literally swap these three around all sorts of ways. Which is very, very nice. But yeah, what do you think of the first owner team? With the bench as it is right now, it's looking kind of good, isn't it? I think so. Rivals rewards in tomorrow's episode. We maybe even might get to the Icon SBC. If you have opened the Icon SBC, please let me know down below what you were able to get from it. I'm curious. I'm curious. I want to see some W's in the comments below. Have a great day. If you've enjoyed, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Follow me on social media, my Twitch and stuff. I'll probably be live as you're watching this, um, doing my Rivals rewards. So come check it out. Take it easy, friends, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.